Let's take a look at how to use Ahrefs for keyword research. Now, Ahrefs is a paid tool, so you'll need to sign up for a plan in order to use all these features I'm going to show you. But all you'll do is log into your account and go to the keyword Keywords Explorer tool. That's usually the best place to start with keyword research. That's going to allow you to enter some seed keywords, basically just you know, initial keywords that are going to give you some ideas that you can expand upon. So we'll use the example weight loss here, something that is easy to understand and follow along with. And when we do a search for weight loss, we can see that the term weight loss itself has a score of 89, which means it's going to be really difficult to rank organically on Google for this keyword. We might be able to run some pay-per-click ads. So running some Google ads, it's going to cost about $1.90 to get clicks on this keyword. Which, you know, that's not terrible bad. So that might be a better route versus trying to organically rank on Google for that keyword. It's going to be a very competitive keyword. Uh, so it's also going to show us the search volume breakdown. 126,000 searches per month from that keyword. It's going to show us some different types of things that are appearing in the search results. So we could rank a blog post or an image or a video or a news article. It's going to show us the top ranked result, the parent topic, which is weight loss. So we've basically found the parent topic, right? It is a pretty broad topic, so it makes sense. And then we see the global breakdown of search traffic. So Looks like it's pretty popular search term in India, the United States, the United Kingdom, somewhat Canada, Australia, Pakistan. And then down in this block right here, this is where we'll start to get more keyword ideas. And this can be extremely helpful. You'll see these little tabs underneath here where it says view all. If we open one of these up, it's going to give us some additional terms that are similar or closely related to our initial term that we entered. So Kelly Clarkson weight loss seems to be really popular right now. And let's say we wanted to dive further into this keyword. We can take a look and see. Looks like there's a trend where it just started to come into effect here. Like, I don't know, maybe Kelly Clarkson rolled out some new weight loss plan, started promoting it, and now all of a sudden everybody's searching for it, right? So really helpful to be able to see historically what's happening with these different keywords. I would assume Ozempic for weight loss is going to be pretty similar because this is kind of a newer, you know, I think it's a, a prescription pharmaceutical that you can use to lose weight. So that gained popularity in 2021 into 2022, and it looks like it's been kind of holding steady ever since. And then there's a whole bunch of related questions and topics on the subject of Ozempic. So we could go down that path. Maybe we want to write some blog posts about how you should or shouldn't use this option, right? Uh, it, it is an injection, I do believe. So weight loss injections can be related to Ozempic, but you get the idea. You can export all these keywords, right? Trying to come up with these off the top of your head is going to be very difficult, right? And Still, you, you want to know what the search volume is, the keyword difficulty. So let's say we're trying to rank organically for some of these keywords. We could say, all right, we only want keywords that are between 1 and 50 in terms of the keyword difficulty. We can click Show Results. That's going to give us a breakdown of keywords on this topic that are rankable. You know, like we'd have a shot of ranking organically for some of these keywords. And there are quite a lot of keywords here. So if it were me, I would probably export these, start mapping out, you know, categorizing them together so we could have all the Ozempic and the injection keywords together where we're talking about how all that stuff works. You know, there's variations like oatmeal, Ozempic weight loss, Monjaro, I think it's similar to Ozempic. Oprah weight loss. We can go through all the different celebrities and their weight loss strategies. You get the idea. 
Now that's the related keywords. There's also questions. These are great for writing blog posts. So if you wanted to, you could answer these questions in blog posts, get them ranked organically on Google. Again, using keyword difficulty to sort through the ones where there's an opportunity to gain some organic search traffic by ranking for one of these keywords. And that's basically how you would do it. Just keep going through. You can then, you know, maybe you want to dive deeper into this whole Ozempic for weight loss thing. Put that into the search bar in the Keywords Explorer. And then you can go deeper into all the variations of keywords on that topic. And you can just keep doing that until you've discovered a whole bunch of different keywords that you can target through SEO, pay-per-click ads on Google Ads, and so on and so forth. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.